In this video, we'll talk about how you can monitor your PX backup deployment using Prometheus and Grafana. So this is about more than just monitoring your PX backup components. This is about monitoring the different backup jobs and backup locations that you have configured inside PX backup. As part of our documentation site, we have provided you with a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow as is and create these Kubernetes objects against your cluster. The first step is installing and configuring Prometheus, which involves creating cluster roles, cluster role bindings, giving it the appropriate permissions, deploying the Prometheus operator, and then attaching it to a service monitor, and again, uh, giving it access to the PX backup metrics. Once you have configured all the different Prometheus components, we'll move on to the Grafana uh, components. And first we'll start by deploying four different persistent volumes that will be leveraged by Grafana to store data, dashboard data, source configs, and then any extensions that you might install after the fact. Once you have deployed the PVCs, you can move on to the next YAML file, which is about deploying Grafana and then mounting those four persistent volumes at different locations inside the pod. Once you have Prometheus and Grafana installed and configured, you can follow the next step, which is creating a data source for Portworks uh, backup. Uh, again, just follow the guide and keep one thing in mind that when you're creating this data source, you need to name it as PX backup instead of just Prometheus. Because if you plan to use our JSON file that we have provided for you, it expects PX backup as the name of the data source. Once you have the data source configured, you can import a dashboard. And again, you don't have to figure this on your own. Uh, follow the documentation and use the JSON file that we have provided for you. Once you have all of these steps uh, completed, you can navigate to the Grafana dashboard. Again, let's quickly review the data sources and the dashboards that we have configured. So as you can see, we have a PX backup data source that points to the local Prometheus instance running on port 9090. And then we have already imported the Portworks backup overview dashboard, which since I already had a PX backup solution up and running for a couple of days, you can see the clusters that I have, the backup locations that I've configured, the different backup schedules or backup jobs that exist in my environment, and the different schedule policies that I have created. You can use this dashboard and all the default widgets and panels, and you can look at historical data, so you, again, for example, we just switched to last three hours worth of data and see we, and as you can see, we have a lot of activity happening. You can use the, the different widgets to look at your backup status, the average backup size, the time it takes for backup jobs to complete. So as an operator, you get a complete overview of the environment. And then if you feel you need additional metrics, you can navigate to the explore tab and look at the other metrics that we provide you as part of the data source as well. You can look at the re backup resource count metrics. So here it will show you a detailed list of all the different namespaces that have a backup job created for them and the number of resources that exist in that namespace. Or you can switch to the backup volume count, which shows you the number of persistent volumes that are part of each backup job or each namespace. As you can see, we have a few different combinations here. We have a few namespaces with 15 persistent volumes, few with 18, few with single digit persistent volumes as well. Again, if you wish to include this in your dashboard, you can navigate back to the dashboard interface and create new panels and widgets for you to use. But this is a great starting point if you're already using Portworks backup or if you're already using Kubernetes and Prometheus and Grafana, and you just want to import the new dashboard and monitor PX backup using the same monitoring solution. That's it for this demo. Until next time, thanks for watching.